For the question to uh, Senator Boucher again. State police officials have said they're understaffed. The recent consolidation of the trooper barracks has increased some time to respond to incidents. What changes, if any, would you make to the state police agency? You know, there are many issues that the state needs to deal with. They should know what their proper role and their priorities are. It's certainly not going out and buying tennis franchises or private garages or a hockey team. It's to provide transportation, education, a level playing field for business, not distributing opportunities, as the governor just recently said at Martin Luther King Highway. But one of the areas of most importance to the public is safety. They need to feel safe first. And I do believe that that's one area where the governor has had some differences of opinion with the state police and has targeted them unfairly, I believe, at the expense of our public safety. So I would support more resources going to our, um, our state police, and I believe that's one area where the state government should be investing their funds in. Hello, Mark Bowden. Um, I uh, absolutely uh, uh, believe that we should be directing more resources towards our state police officers, and I think it's important that uh, much like we've done in Danbury, we listen to the practitioners, we listen to the people that are actually out in the cars all night long, that are out uh, doing their work of, of the state of a state trooper to understand what the challenges they have and what challenges that they face and how best to address them. Look, at the end of the day, uh, Danbury has been the safest city for the last three years for a reason. Uh, it's because we're proactive in our policing, we take advantage of training efforts, and we put resources in protecting the health, safety, and welfare of the residents of Danbury. As your next governor, I'll do the same thing as governor. Put the resources to protect the health, safety, and welfare of all of our residents. If that means the Commissioner of Public Safety says we need more resources towards our uh, state police, then I'll get them. No money for the state police if they're going to continue confiscation and incremental legislation to confiscate guns. I spent 11 hours outside the state police uh, headquarters in the Department of Public Safety on New Year's Eve to film interview people, gun owners, that came in to fill out the forms for the magazines of their guns. The police were unbelievably great. They came out with buckets, it was ice cold, and people were waiting in line for hours. So the workers themselves are one thing, the, the infrastructure, the establishment, the money, the people behind that are another. Uh, we need to make sure we separate both of them. The police, uh, I also carry a gun, and I've said this, you may find it humorous, but send half of the uh, people that are protecting Dan Malloy out and serve the public. I'll take care of myself as your governor uh, that carries a gun. Um, but the bottom line is, yeah, we need this police who hasn't Look for joy in the rear of your mirror when they pull up behind you and you're broken down on the side of the road. There's so many cases. So we don't want to demonize this, but at the same time, if anything is going to go towards more registration, more uh, digital information to track guns, uh, this, is, this is the thing I want to make sure we keep in the debate. Many years ago, a woman died in eastern Connecticut because it took the state police, I think, 23 minutes to respond and get to her house. As a result of that tragedy, the state legislature passed a law that said, we will never go below this level of state trooper staffing. Governor Malloy undid that level. No one fought him harder than I did. He's, he's consolidated trooper barracks. He's cut the number of state police officers. In eastern Connecticut and in other towns where they rely on state troopers as their police force, he has undermined public safety. Look, we all believe in the principle of limited government, but public safety is an essential role that we as government must play. If we can't provide safety for our people, what good are we doing? I will bring back that state trooper level. I will have a full class of state troopers so that we can accurately staff those barracks and towns that rely on those state troopers will get prompt response times. Here, here for